Hello and welcome to Tending the Soul, a ministry of Robinsdale Parkway United Church of Christ. I'm Reverend T. Michael Rock and with Reverend Kathy Itzen, we are the co-pastors of this amazing community of people who are in the midst of real experiences, real movement in their lives of growing and learning and, and making something happen for others. Part of being in this faith community Part of being here in this way, online, over YouTube, over Facebook, whatever it is, is you and I are now connected in, in this idea that we are part of other people's lives too. It's not just about us. And that is one of the amazing gifts that have happened in the midst of COVID. In the midst of a global pandemic that, that connects our stories with people all over our planet. People who are suffering and struggling for breath, people who are wearing masks and social distancing and, and doing all of the different things that are hardships, uh, people who are trying to educate uh, children and trying to teach children, all, the, all those experiences connect us to others. Now, one of the things our teacher Richard Rohr says all the time, that there are two ways to transformation. There are only really two clear paths to change and grow. And they are great love and great suffering. Moves us when we have found great love and fallen head over heels in that space. It changes us and who we are. And when we have been wounded, hurt, traumatized, whatever, in that great suffering moment, it changes who we are and our outlook for the world. And so our soul tending task on this week is to acknowledge that great suffering leads to change and growth and transformation. It is an opportunity for us to tell the story of our scars, our woundedness, our loneliness, our pain, our, our psychological worry in the midst of violence at the Capitol and all the different things that are happening. These are moments of great suffering and they're opportunities for change and transformation and connection with the other. This moment, calls for us to tend to our souls. And the acknowledgement in this, this time, this precious time that we're sharing together right now, is that we are letting go of any idea or possibility that we return to any way we used to be together. We're gonna to give up the idea that we're gonna go back to the old way or what some folks call normal. We are going to use this opportunity of great love and great suffering to move and change and grow and transform into the place and people that God calls us to be. This is the deep soul work of this time. The deep soul work of the pain and, and great suffering that has happened around George Floyd's murder and the so many deaths that have happened and, and, and executions on death row. All of these moments of great suffering are invitations for us to change and grow and transform into more of the other-centered people that God calls us to be. Friends, great suffering is an opening and it, and it is horrible to watch these moments of violence and fear and everything else on our TV screens. It is hard to be distant and socially isolated from others. It is hard and difficult to move through this pandemic with the sense of fear and um, that our lives or our family lives could be next in line of the statistics that are keep on mounting and mounting of people who are test positive and people who die from this disease. But I have to tell you that every moment of this year plus of suffering is an invitation to grow to understand that who you are becoming is the soul work that you're called to. How you are growing in your life is the soul work you are called to. What new avenues of understanding of, your, of our own prejudices we carry around race, around gender, around everything. Those are the places our souls are demanding us to change and grow. And this has always been the case. We only grow when we go through that moment of great suffering. 
and great love. And we find in the new places we will be together, this great gift that we would never ever want any other way. We know this when we call on the communion of saints to be with us in the midst of our suffering. We know this because they have shown us that in their great suffering, they have shown us a deeper understanding of the truth and the way to be. I want you to know that you belong to this great big story that has always been this soul work that we're each called to. So let us find an opportunity, a new way of being together. And I'll close with this understanding, this gift right now in the midst of this moment is without a global pandemic, I never would have had the idea or the opportunity to connect with you in this way, to reach out into your place, your, your phone, your iPad, your computer and say, you are worthy and you are loved. You are worth everything. You are precious and beloved. Your soul is held in the hands of me and so many others. And that is the greatest gift we could ever have. May your soul work bring you to life.